So how many of you have, have ever heard of William Shakespeare? Um, Pretty much everybody, yeah? What do you, tell me what you know about Shakespeare. What do we know about Shakespeare? He was a playwright? Poet and a playwright, yes. What else? He wrote a lot of bad comedy. All right, that's your opinion. You're welcome to it. Very good. He lived in Stratford and he came up with the Globe Theater. Stratford upon Avon, yes, Globe Theater. What else? He made up lots of words. He added a lot of words to the He used a lot of words, right? Yes. Made up. Yeah. Made it up. I have pretty much what she said. Made up yeah, a lot of words. Words included the word critic. It was a wordsmith. It was a wordsmith. Well put. What are some of the plays that William Shakespeare wrote? Yeah. Hamlet. Comedy of Errors. Comedy of Errors. Midsummer's Night Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. The Taming of the Shrew. The Taming of the Shrew. Yes, over here. Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Tempest. Say it again. Tempest. The Tempest. Yes. Much Ado About Nothing. Richard the Third. Macbeth. 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 Othello. Othello. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar, you guys are great, yes. King Lear. Lear, yes, all right. So he wrote what, like 34 plays? So when did he write these plays? While he was alive. <laughs> yes. Um, mm. 1600s. 1600s and before, right? Specifically, Taming of the Shrew, which Fairbank Shakespeare Theater is producing right now, 1594. So add that up in your head. How many years ago is that? A lot. A lot. <laughs> like 400 plus years ago, right? So can you imagine that if something that you wrote down today in 400 years, people would still be talking about it, still performing it? Why, why do we still do Shakespeare? After 400 years, why are we still doing Shakespeare? To know, yep, to explore the language that he was using during the time. His plays are timeless. Because they're really good. Because they're really good, right? They're really good. 400 years later, we're still doing Shakespeare because he was really good. He wrote three different kinds of plays, right? What are the three different kinds of plays he wrote? Mysteries, comedies, and dramas. Uh, 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 let's, uh, let's raise hands. Uh, comedies. Comedies, that's one. Dramas. Mm, what do we call them? Dramas. Tragedies. Tragedies. What's the third? Yeah, right there. Satires. Mm, falls under comedy. History. History plays, right? So comedies, tragedies, history plays. How can we tell a comedy? Any ideas? Other than they're funny. Everybody gets married! Yes, everybody gets married at the end of a comedy. How about tragedies? How can we tell a tragedy? Everybody dies at the end. How can we tell histories? They're boring! Everybody's asleep at the end. So yes, he would be commissioned by the Queen or the highest bidder to write these plays, but he also wrote them for the common people. So there was this duality thing going on. He would have to write plays that could be understood by everyday common folk like us, but also that would be understood and enjoyed by the aristocracy. So there was a lot of um, double entendres going on. Double entendre, any idea what that is? Anybody? Yes. Double meaning, sure. So he would write these jokes that were often body, body humor, like potty humor, for the groundlings so they could laugh, but also that would be smart enough that the aristocracy would not be offended and that they would enjoy it as well. I think a lot of people, when they first experience Shakespeare, they're like, oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. And for me, the key is it's, it's just using a lot more words than we use today. If you take your time and really look at the words and think about them and talk about them, it becomes clear. 
all right? So I encourage you not to be afraid of Shakespeare. I know all of you will probably have to study it at one point or another. And a lot of you will look like this gentleman right here. The, oh, Shakespeare is terrible, right? But I encourage you to open your minds and really try to explore. <laughs>